Director of the China Learning Initiatives at Asia Society. Asia Society's China Studies Seminar is a very different kind of professional development. If you can boil it down to its essence, it's really all about connection. First of all, our Confucius Classroom Network Chinese teachers select a non-Chinese speaking teacher from their school and bring them to China, many of them for the first time. My name is Devin Gibbons. I work at Murkison Middle School in Austin, Texas, and I teach art and photography. My name is Robin Stringfellow. I also teach at Murkison Middle School, and I teach Chinese 1 and 2. Hello, my name is Jesse Mayer. I teach at Heritage House School at Oklahoma State. My name is Andres Bagayevich. I teach Spanish also at Heritage Hall in Oklahoma. My name is Lacey Melko. I teach Mandarin and Spanish at Kettle Moraine High School in Wales, Wisconsin. And my name is Bill Barter, and I teach the visual arts at Kettle Moraine High School. In this way, we build connections between colleagues who might not have had the opportunity to bond and to collaborate. Working with Wen Fei and working as an immersion teacher and an English teacher, I think it not only helped us to collaborate better, but it gave me a better understanding of my students. I mean, we've known each other passing in the hallway, and that was it. Uh, also, it, it brings coworkers closer together, and it brings more collaboration, not only with each other, but for me, with Chinese teachers from other parts of the country. And, and that I value so much. Another dimension of connection is between Americans and Chinese. The China Studies Seminar is not about sitting around listening to lectures and theories. Instead, we bring our teachers to the environment. We immerse them in the environment. We have spent a lot of time around Shanghai being able to explore and see different aspects of the city. On this trip in Shanghai, I have realized that even though Shanghai is such a big international city, it remains its own tradition and culture. We bring them to places where learning and art and business are actually happening. The, uh, the elderly university, that was an eye-opener and, and a real pleasure to see. Um, after we visited the um, University for the Elderly, they did a musical and dance performance for us and they were just so happy and so involved and enthusiastic about um, you know, the, the activities that they were participating in there. It was really um, awesome. All my exposure has been to college students and for the first time I get to see the youth. and I was not aware until this trip um, how much government support young entrepreneurs are receiving. Um, I was really amazed um, and impressed with their um, ingenuity and their um, you know, willingness to take a risk and the government um, support for those risks. I thought it was wonderful. We encourage them to interact with real people to get a genuine sense of Chinese lives and values beyond what they see in the headlines back home. As a native speaker, I never thought that I could have discovered so much on this trip. It's amazing that every time when I think I know enough about China, and the fact is I really don't know. I found once the English I had been here before, how much they know about America and how little we know about China. I would absolutely recommend this trip. I've been on several trips like this uh, previously and never have I seen so many interesting things that I did not know about China. I really discovered a lot about China that I was not aware of. Finally, we connect these experiences to the classroom 
through training in interdisciplinary lesson design. Here we guide these teachers of different subjects to work together and incorporate their partner's subjects into their own classroom. If we want our students to be globalized as teachers and educators, we need to be uh, open-minded. I want to bring back to them, show what Chinese children are doing now, try to, try to motivate them. Sharing our experiences and that, that made it all worthwhile. The, the idea of uh, showing the students that one never stops learning, that one can continue learning about uh, the world we live in. There really is no better way to foster a sense of connection across borders and barriers and boundaries, real or imagined, and to instill and disseminate a sense of urgency in connecting with people at a very human level who just so happen to not share our worldview. The world, like it or not, is getting smaller. And so the uh, connections between people um, is, is just something that we have to take advantage of. Asia Society is extremely proud and privileged to be able to facilitate this kind of bridge building through the China Studies Seminar. motivated, inspired, and that's what it does. And teachers need that sometimes to get that excitement for learning. And then we go back fired up and he made the comment saying, I kind of I kind of want to go teach on Monday. So I definitely recommend this trip for uh, newbies to China as well as veterans to China because it's, it's definitely going to be something you've never seen before. Mm -hmm.